All right, guys. So today we have our reading comprehension lesson. Hey, I love to read stories. So I'm very excited about that. Now, before we get started with our reading comprehension, let's check our homework. So, okay, so we're learning about different shades of meanings. Now, this word is big. What you had to do for homework was you had to pick two words that had the same kind of meaning but different shades, and we had to put them from weakest to strongest. So what did we write for big? Pumpkin, what did you write for big? Big? Huge. Vast. Vast. Very good. Well done, pumpkin. Some of you may have to use a dictionary for some of these words. So vast means really, really big, like a vast area of land. Okay, next is scared. I'm going to pick Kimmy. I wrote dreadful and terrified. Ah, very close. Now, a few people made this mistake with homework. So dreadful doesn't mean scared. Dreadful means very, very bad. So the answer for scared was frightened and then terrified, okay? So we're putting them in order from weakest to strongest. So scared is quite weak. Frightened is in the middle and terrified means you're very, very scared. Good try though, Kimmy. Okay, next is bad. Rosie, can you tell me what you wrote for bad in order from weakest to strongest? Um, I wrote terrible and dreadful. Good girl. You are exactly right. Terrible and then dreadful. Good girl, Rosie. Okay, good. Pumpkin. Great and fantastic. Very good. Great and then fantastic. Amazing work, Pumpkin. Okay, and last is stroll. Stroll. So stroll means you go for a slow walk. Maybe you would have a stroll around the park. Cherry, what did you write for stroll? I write run and sprint. Good girl. Run and then sprint. Okay, so stroll, run, and sprint are all similar because they mean you're all moving your body. But stroll is like a very slow, leisurely walk. Run is when we run quite fast, and sprint is when we run very, very, very fast. Good job, guys. Then the second part of your homework was to make your own pencil. So I want to say congratulations to Cherry and Winter because these were the best pencils that I saw. So Cherry started off as scared, shaken, worried, afraid, terrified, horrified, petrified. This is a really good shades of meaning pencil. Good girl, Cherry. Really good work. Then Winter, Winter did more than one pencil. He actually did three. And I found this level of piano one very funny. It actually gave me a giggle. Well done. But my favorite one from Winter was this, volcano explosivity. Non-explosive, gentle, explosive, severe, cataclysmic, paroxysmal, Colossal, super colossal, and mega colossal. Very good, Winter. Really good. So good job, guys, on your homework. You did a really good job, and I can see you put a lot of effort in. Okay, let's get started. So today we have our reading comprehension, as I said. Now, the reading comprehension today is about eating a snack. Now, I want to know, what do you guys make to eat when you are hungry? Hun. Uh, I I make a piece of bread with some uh, butter and some cheese. Mmm, so you have like almost like a cheese sandwich. That sounds really delicious. Good girl, Han. Okay, guys, let's get started for the reading comprehension. So today we're reading a story called A Peanut Butter Sandwich. Now I'm going to lower your hands. Raise your hand if you have ever eaten a peanut butter sandwich. Many people. Okay, and what do we think? Do we like peanut butter? Yeah. Oh, lots of thumbs up. Okay. I like peanut butter. I think it's delicious, especially when you have it with strawberry jam. Mmm, my favorite. Okay. Who would like to read? Who can read this whole page for me? Trixie. I'm so hungry I could eat an elephant. Billy Joe told his friend Davy, let's go see if my grandma will make us a snack. Billy Joe and Davy ran across the schoolyard and down the street. They knocked on grandmother's back door. Very good. Nice reading, Trixie. So the two boys are so hungry they could eat an elephant and they're finished school and they're going to see if grandma will make them a snack. 
let's see what happens next. Who can read this page for me? We had a girl last time, so let's have a boy this time. Winter, would you like to read for me? Grandma, can we have something to eat? Billy Joe asks. I can't make it all the way home without a snack. Grandmother was putting on her coat and hat. I don't have time to fix you anything right now. I'm late for my computer class. You boys can fix yourself a sandwich if you don't make a mess, Grandma said as she headed out of the door. Good job, lovely reading. Thank you, Winter. So Grandma's in the house and Billy Joe asks, can you make me a snack? I need to go home, but I can't go home without a snack. But Grandma's leaving the house. So she says, you boys can make it yourself, but don't make a mess. Okay, who can read this page for me? Let's have Kimmy. Kimmy, go ahead, you can read this page. The boys took out the bread, peanut butter, and a knife. What do you want with your peanut butter? Asked Billy Joe. Do you want jam or a banana? A banana? I don't want a banana on my sandwich, said Davy. I'll take jam. Does your grandma have strawberry jam? Good girl. Lovely reading once again. Thank you. So, does Davy like bananas? Cherry. No, he didn't. No, he doesn't. He sounds a bit shocked. He says, a banana? I don't want a banana on my sandwich. Very good. Okay, let's keep reading. Okay, let's have a boy this time. Pumpkin, can you read, please? Billy he Joe. And Davy a jar of strawberry jam. You don't know what you're missing. You're um, missing. You're um, missing. Davy peanut butter, honey, and banana make the best tasting sandwich you ever ate. Billy Joe spread peanut butter on one slice of bread. He puts honey on the other slice. He cuts the banana and put it on top of the peanut butter. He put two slices together. He put, and he put the two slices together. Slices. Slices together and took a big bite. This is so good. Do you want to? Do you want a bite? He asked Debbie. Very good. Lovely reading. Thank you, Pumpkin. Okay, so Billy Joe gave Davy the strawberry jam. He's saying, you don't know what you're missing. The peanut butter, the honey, the banana, it's the best together. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, who can read this page for me? Rosie, can you read this page for me? Davy made a face and said, no thanks, I'll stick to peanut butter and jam. Do you think your grandma would mind if we had some milk? This peanut butter stick to the roof of my mouth. The Good. boys drank some milk and ate their sandwich. Billy Joe put everything away, and Davy washes the dirty da dish. Davy washed. Washed the dirty dish. Dishes. When dishes. Good girl. When Mother returned. The boys were playing with her dogs. You boys did a fine job. The kitchen is spotless. Scoot now. It's time you went home. She gave each boy a big hug and sent them on their way. Lovely reading. Thank you. Good girl. Well done, Rosie. Okay, so that's the end of our story. So it's a short story today, but it's all about the boys making sandwiches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to answer some questions. Let's see how much everyone can remember from the story.
Okay, so we have two more exercise pages to do. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, circle the words with the sound of th in the. Now, when you say the, you should feel your tongue vibrating in your mouth. Try it yourself. The. It's a vibration sound and feeling. So I want us to circle the words with the sound th in the. And then I want us to make an X on the words with the sound of th in thing. The TH sound is different in both of these words. We have th and th. So who can, who can circle all the words with the th sound? You can tell me all the words with the th sound. Here we have thank, they, them, with, three, think, there, then, teeth. What do we think? Who can tell me some of the words with the th sound? Kimmy. They, they, them, then, there. There, good girl. There and then. Very good girl, Kimmy. So all of the words that have E following TH have the th sound. Good girl. Okay, who, tell, who thinks that they can tell me all the words that have the th sound? Like in thing, hun. I think that is. So we start from this one. Does thank have the th sound? Yes. Yes, it does. So let's put an X on that. What else? Three and think. Does with have the th sound? Yes. Yes, it does. So we'll put that there. You said three and think. What about teeth? Does teeth have the th sound? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can hear it now. Good girl. Well done. Good job, hun. Okay, fill in the missing words. We're going to use these words to fill in the blanks. Okay, so for homework, we're going to write a conclusion. So what is a conclusion? Well, a conclusion is a smart guess about something the author does not say directly. Readers can use clues that they find in words or pictures to draw a conclusion about the characters, setting, or plot of the story. So have a look here. This is a small graphic organizer that we could put into this. Now, this is called an inference map. Now, the word inference is a synonym of the word conclusion. So inference and conclusion, they mean the same thing. So an inference map can help readers use clues to come to conclusions to better understand the story. Readers can use the story details to draw conclusions. So what you're going to do for homework, as I'll show you on the next page, is you're going to read a very, very, very small paragraph and you're going to make a conclusion about something. We're going to use the inference map for one, two, three, the three boxes here. We're going to use story clues. So clues from the story that help us draw a conclusion here. Let's have a look at the next page. So this is what your homework sheet will look like, okay? Read about Josh and his dad, then, Write about what you think Josh and his dad will do. So the story, the very small story, is Josh woke up early on Saturday morning and looked outside the window. The sun was out and it was hot. His dad called to Josh and said, it is a perfect day. Don't forget to bring a towel. Josh grabbed a towel and they left the house. The question is, where do you think dad and Josh are going? Show how you made your conclusion using the graphic organizer. So I want you to tell me, what conclusion have you made about where they're going? Do you think they're going to the zoo? Do you think they're going to school? Do you think they're going to go skiing, surfing? What do you think they're doing? Where are they going? Then you tell me 
how you made the conclusion. So for example, if you think that the sentence, the sun was out, helps you make your conclusion, you would write that here. So you write three sentences and three details from the story that tell me how you have made your conclusion. And I'm going to unmute you all so we can all say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. 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 Bye.